Yo, what's up guys? You got Kotab here and today we're doing some Gran Turismo. Um, I haven't really done much Gran Turismo, but uh, I reinstalled it on the uh, back onto the good old PlayStation and uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit a uh, bit of it. Um, I've already played a little bit of the campaign. See, I've got like that one a hundred percent done. But they added in this new uh, this new league here. Now I've already done some of the beginner ones here. I done the Sunday Cup. I got golds and all those. And basically, what I found out the easiest way to beat these is just buy a car that's like in these with restrictions no matter what the horsepower and then just downgrade it by going to the vehicle options uh, until it has that much horsepower and your car is basically like a supercar but like with a limiter on it so it still accelerates fucking quick and uh, it's really good um, so I've done both of these uh, probably the more boring ones um, and that's the strategy I use. But today we're gonna we're gonna skip the Clio Cup because fuck Renault, and uh, we're gonna ha handle the uh, front end and rear wheel drive section. The car we're gonna be using for that, I was gonna use um, something a little ridiculous, but I decided you know what? Let's try to find a car that's already within those parameters. And I did. I found a couple of them. Most of them being Asian. Um. But today we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hop in a Toyota. I don't think I've ever driven before. And you're gonna, I know what you're gonna say. You want me to drive the Supra? Don't worry, that's coming for another episode. Um, if we if I decide to do more of this, uh, we're gonna we're gonna use this. I've never really seen this used before. Um, it's got only 349 horsepower. 300. Um, I think it was 394 was our top. So we got room to like even upgrade it. It's front engine, rear wheel drive. I say we go for it. It's gonna be a quick little car. Um, 80 grand down the drain, pff, no problem. Money's no issue in this game. Um, yes, I will drive it now. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Um, I like, it, it kind of reminds me of like, it looks like baby's first race car. <laughs> like uh, when you go from kart racing this is like the first kind of car you drive it's just like a little itty bitty grocery getter with a body kit on it <laughs> so let's see what do we got here um we're gonna be doing this race course five laps uh seems pretty easy and then we got a more complex track i like to call this one like the spa kind of copy because it looks like a, a lot like spa and then we got uh, this one, which is a very nice course. I actually like this one a lot, so this shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and hop into our car here and maybe uh, maybe pop some up upgrades into it. Maybe make it a little bit more quicker. More quicker? I don't know if that makes sense, but we're going to try it out. So uh, let me know, guys, if you want to see more Gran Turismo, because, I mean, it's, it's something I like to play when I'm down, and, you know, I wouldn't mind... Uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, just commentating some of the races that I'm doing. So, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'll definitely do it. Um, the setup I'm using, I'm just using a controller. Um, nothing really special. Now, one thing that I've been wanting to do in these games is actually get better. And normally I play in Traction Control 3 because I'm a pussy. But we're actually going to turn that down to, like, 1 for this race and see, see how we do. Um... So we can already lower the weight of this thing if we really want to, um, which we are going to do. And we can crank the horsepower all the way up without even upgrading this. I'm going to upgrade the weight reduction though, just so that we can get a little bit lighter. And there we go. Now we got got ourselves a good little racing car here. Um, are we already on the best tires available? No, we can bump these up to softs. And I think really that's all we got to do to it. Um, I don't know if our gears are going to be good. I found that having higher gears for a higher top speed is uh, usually a little bit better because the opponents won't have upgraded engines. Um, so we're going to make it like 180. That seems like a pretty fast top speed for these groups of cars. And we're going to hop right into it here. And hopefully I don't do so bad. <laughs> I'm really like not good at these games at all, but 
we're gonna we're gonna give it a go going around the big right hander easing on the power a little bit ah get on the other side of the Miata there we go RX-7 that was another one that I was thinking about using but decided to go for this little guy and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed the handling is pretty tight it doesn't like to slide out very much it's very easy to drive it's grippy and it's quick I like it I gotta say I'm impressed look at us just climbing on these fools like I don't know like if I can set my difficulty or if it's just because these are, be are beginning levels. That's why they're so easy, but... And this is on traction control 1 and I'm having no grip problems. Let's all bump that down to 0 and see how we do. And then later we can start turning shit off like ABS. I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm a fucking terrible uh, sim driver. Like... Put me in Need for a Speeder in the crew, or something like that, and I can beat your top times. Put me in a game like this, and I look like a fish out of water. But we're doing, we're doing alright so far. Even though I still got stability control all the way up, and ABS. <laughs> I think we're doing alright. Oh, I love that, that feeling of being on the edge of the rev limiter there. Just want to slow my entry here so I get a better entry for this corner. Carry that speed all the way through. See, like, I know how to be good at drive, like driving in these games. It's just actually doing it. I find... Mostly throttle control and knowing when to brake and when to accelerate are the hardest things for me to pick up in a sim racer. So maybe, uh, maybe you know, watching this, you guys will learn a little bit too on some of the things that I pick up on. If you guys are struggling as well. Oh shit. There we go, dog. Using the curbs. All the curbs, yeah, looky there, that was a great sector. Zero traction control, and I held it all the way through there. I don't like that corner, I don't like going uphill. <laughs> Clip on that one, there we go. Probably could have clipped that a little bit better, but no matter. That's another lap down, we're on our last lap, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that feels good. I like that corner. S not even slow down that much for these ones. Just lift a little bit at the end there, and we're good. This car can take it, dude. This car's a little fighter. Oh, look at it go. I love it. So I figured for each one of these we do, obviously for each cup we'll do a different car. Uh, and it'll be different each time, hopefully. <laughs> if the money holds out. I already have like a ton of cars that I could use, but I don't know. I like finding new cars and testing them out and see how they work. Uh, gotta say, if you're looking to do this event, this car is definitely a good one. <laughs> I just handled that with like zero issues whatsoever. Even on the ones before this, I, you know, some of them would catch up on the straights or whatever. But, uh, nope, not in this card. It's, it's solid. It's real good. Excuse me, let me, uh, take a drink of my monster energy. Mmm, I love the mango. It's so good. I don't know if so every place has it. Because I know where I work, we get it, but uh, um, I've heard people from like Indiana say that they don't have it. I live in Ohio, so I don't know. If you find it, it's the Monster Juice Mango. It's so good. 
It's basically like caffeinated mango juice. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. This damn weather has got my, uh, my shit all fucked up. Um, driving line assist, we can leave that on. Brake indicator, yeah. Stability control steer counter steering assist. I didn't even know this was a thing. Let's turn that off. Alright, so let's let's only do that and see what happens. Let's see if that counter steer assist actually made a difference. I mean I know it will, but like how much of a difference? Look at this, we just walk on these guys. This car is so good. Oh we're doing the reverse uh the reverse circuit of this. Which I am not used to, but I do like this circuit. This is probably, whoa, it's probably one of my more favorite circuits. I think my uh, like front um, little fins there caught onto that guy's bumper, and I didn't even realize it. Okay, this one you have to break for. This one you can just go flat through. You got a little more room on the curbs. Oh, just like that. This one's hard. This one's this one's rough. Going the opposite way, it's not that bad. But that that corner is definitely designed to go uh, right around that corner, not left. And just like that, up into first place, dude. This this feels good. This feels real good. I really like this car. I've always been curious about it because I've always seen it. I'm like, wow, that thing's got a a big old mouth. It looks like a catfish. But I'm glad and I decided to uh, to give it a go. Oh yeah, there we go. Get a little power sliding in. This is just overall a really really easy car to drive oh my god that was a terrible line through there I didn't realize I would have to brake that hard this is like going the opposite direction on spa like I don't know this racetrack just really reminds me of spa for some reason I kind of feel like that's what they're going for all right, come on, let's let's get back onto our racing line here and stop being a fucking clown. I'm sorry, I'm just having too much fun in this little car. Look, at it. it looks mean in the front. It looks like a catfish. If you've ever seen a catfish, they uh they kind of got those like grouchy looking eyes and that big old mouth. Oh shit! All right. Another thing about catfish, they bite if you provoke them. <laughs> Just like this car, man. I pushed it too far. It's like, will you shut up about me and do the f fucking race? Oh man, that is not the right line to take through that. I should go more wide on the entry. It doesn't matter, this is the last lap. We're miles ahead of them. It would take a royal, royal fuck up for me to not win this at this point. Which I would not put it past me at all. I also hope my voice is coming up pretty good because, uh. Ah, uh, this game is really loud. And microphones on PlayStation tend to be kind of quiet. So, hopefully. Hopefully we sound good and I don't have to redo this video. Then I'd be a little pissed. But I am also kind of talking a little bit loud, so... Oh shit, we're not making this one. That was even worse than the first time I went through there. Ah, oh well. We'll get it next time. Next time we come to this track, we'll nail that corner. I can go up it going really well. It's just going down it. It's kind of like the Laguna Seca uh, corkscrew. If you've ever gone up it, it's uh, 
it's it's pretty easy to go up it but if you go down it it's like what the fuck all right let's get our shit here let's do our uh, our last race i think last race of the series um i do believe so yeah our last race two laps let's go so um maybe i'll turn stability control off for this one Maybe it's just this car. It's so easy to control. But uh, maybe next episode when we get into something maybe a little more beefier, we'll, uh, we'll start turning this sys back on. But for the time being, let's go ahead and turn st stability control off. ABS is probably going to be the hardest thing for me. Because uh, when I brake, I just smash the brake. So that won't be good. Um, that's going to be the hardest thing for me to learn. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and turn that off. And see how we do. I'm very confident, but I'm also very scared, if I'm honest, of looking like an idiot on YouTube, which I guess I do quite often. Oh shit, that was not a good corner. Again, we're going the reverse way around this course, which I'm not used to. <laughs> it's like, that's the thing, that's why in the Mario Kart games, the reverse tracks are the last one you unlock, because <laughs> they're always the hardest, because you're not used to them. It's like all new tracks. Ah, here we go, here we go. Like, go the opposite way around the Nürburgring. I guarantee you'll probably fucking puke. You'll be so confused, like, where the hell am I? <laughs> am I still in Germany? God damn. That's a rough corner. Okay. Little kick on the outside. It's all right. Well, my little front wings clipped that guy again. I'm trying to like outbreak him here, which is probably not a good idea, but hey, we did it. Alright, here we go. Another little uh, S curve here. Probably a little harsher than the one on the other side, so let's slow down a little bit. Alright, there we go. Nice and easy on the exit. All right, use, using the curb a bit, drifting a bit. <laughs> it's all right, we got it. <laughs> it's all right, we got it. I managed to get it. Excuse my cough, guys. It's, uh, uh, shit. If you know the weather that's been going on up here in, uh, in the good old Midwest in Ohio, man, it's it's been rough. <laughs> it, it's like every other week, like no fucking joke. Like last week, I was outside in shorts and a t-shirt, feeling good, and uh, then literally overnight, it, it started to snow. Overnight, like it didn't even need a day to cool off. It was just like, oh hey, here's two feet of snow. And then it warmed up again, and then it got cold. It, it's been going on like this since, like, late December, pretty much. After, like, it was just frigidly cold, like, 20 below zero for, like, two weeks. <laughs> now it's just back and forth weather for, like, two months. And it's got my allergies and my sinuses all kinds of fucked up. So, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm coughing. And a little weather rant there too, cause I'm I'm fucking pissed, dude. Like the sun's up there, why ain't doing anything? Maybe it's something about flat Earth or something. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, by the way. I'm not I'm not that stupid. And if you are a flat earther, man, I gotta say I I am I am just so sorry. You are just so dumb. <laughs> like genuinely, I feel pity for you. Like the way I would see like an abandoned dog. 
<laughs> I don't care if that sounds mean. I really don't. I'm probably going to get a bunch of Flat Earth haters now. <laughs> That's going to be like the reason I'm famous. Oh god, fuck that future. I don't want to be a part of it. Alright, never mind. Flat Earthers, get back in here. I don't care what shape your shape your earth is. I only care what shape your heart is. All right, get back in here, dog. And there we go. We just won. So. <laughs> All right. So that is it. I uh, I guess unless like the next one's really short and we can knock that one out real quick. But uh, let's uh, let's take a look see at what our next cup is. The Mazda Cup, the Stars and Stripes Cup, or the Raptor Survival Cup. Man. Haha. <laughs> this is the only one that sounds fun, using American cars. I already did this one. Yeah, that's right. I used the SRT Tomahawk. It was, it was a fucking joke. Let's, let's just put it that way. So, American cars only. Let's see what I already have. Um, I have a thousand horsepower Hellcat. Um, I also have this Mustang road car that I don't think I've driven. Huh. Or this Corvette C7 road car which looks fucking sick. Hmm. I don't know. Or should we go to the dealership and see uh, see what else we can find. Let's, let's do that. One thing I hate about Gran Turismo is these menus are so fucking slow. Also, add a search option in for, or like a filter for the brand central here. It's it's really annoying trying to find specific cars. Um, like it took me 20 minutes of scrolling through all these cars to find one for this episode. So, hopefully we can find one like relatively quick here. Immediately right off the bat, Ford GT sounds pretty sick. Um, any of these racing cars like won't be allowed I'm pretty sure, so... Four G four GT is like probably top of my list right now. But we'll see what else we got. This is only American cars, so it shouldn't take that long to find something. Huh Ooh. Camaro's pretty nice too. You gotta admit. Like put some more horsepower and weight reduction in that thing and it's gonna be fucking ridiculous. But uh, let's let's take a look here. Vipers, eh? I'm honestly not that fine. Like, I'm not that big of a fan of Vipers anymore. I used to love them. Uh, yeah, that's just that concept thing. Oh, and there's the Shelby Cobra also we could use. But, huh? I don't know. Ford GT or the Camaro. Okay, let's uh, let's do something here. Let's go onto my phone and go to, why do you want me to do this? Go to Google and go ahead and do a flip a coin. I would have my Alexa do it, but she is currently unplugged because she's an annoying bitch. <laughs> okay, wait, I didn't even, hold on. So, 4GT heads and the Camaro will be tails. How's that? Flipping. Flipping. Heads. Ford GT it is. Hopefully I have enough to buy it. I didn't even think about that. Um, I do. Okay, it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and buy this thing. And let's do it in my favorite, personal favorite color scheme. Ooh, maybe. Hold on. Normally, I go with the red with white stripes, but that gray with white stripes, or gray with black stripes, I think it was, was really nice. But no, let's go ahead and go classic red. Alright. Yes, let's use this car now, and let's go ahead and uh, hop into that cup there and uh, start kicking some ass. <laughs> Now hopefully I can handle this thing um, a little bit uh, more than I... Uh, let's hope I can handle it as good as I did with the little car. So 
so might as well do these two races and we'll call it a video. How's that? And then next time we'll probably do the the cup, the uh, Mazda Cup or the Raptor Cup. I don't know. Driving around in a truck sounds fun. God damn, is that my car? That is loud. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add some more power into this bitch. That was a lot of spending. Do I have enough? I don't have enough for the last level. Um, weight reduction. That's okay, though. 2,800 pounds is still pretty good. A max of 836 horses. Damn! This is going to be an interesting ride, guys. I don't know <laughs> if I can handle this car with uh, no, no assists. I don't really fuck with any of the rest of the tuning because I'll probably fuck it up. Let's just give this thing a monstrous top speed. Even though that's not really useful on this track, but let's just fuck it, dude. Um, what I'm gonna do though is no, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out with these assists. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Why is that on three? No, turn that down to zero, dude. So we're rolling now. Hopefully, I can handle it with a car with a lot more beef. Holy shit, dude. Vipers. It's a pit viper. It's in the sand. Ah, I want to push it more, but it's like on the edge. Okay, there we go. Ah, there's the edge that I was previously talking about. Sorry, Corvette. Oh, shit. How did I not get a penalty for that? Man, if you give this thing power, it will spin, dude. This car is a little ridiculous, but... Brakes, not too good. I'm so scared to give this car full throttle. Oh boy, here we go. Holy shit. Holy shit. I've just been giving it half throttle this whole race. Once I fucking opened it up, it scared the piss out of me. Oh, that guy definitely did not have a good day. Oh, we have another... Jesus Christ! Fuck off! <laughs> Damn fools don't know how to drive! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! No! <laughs> Alright, we might have to turn stability control back on. Oh Jesus, just right over top of it. Oh my god. This is all gone just horribly, horribly wrong. This fucking car, dude. Ah! Come on, dude, just get out of my way! Jesus Christ, man. Alright, come on, get off the sand. Give this thing some power. Ah, oh, sorry I'm being so quiet, guys. I'm really trying here. I'm really focusing on trying to keep this car in check because it is just oh man it's a chore and a half let me tell you what you give this thing throttle when it's in first second or like halfway through third you're you're in for a bad time just put it that way alright let's just bully 
our younger, newer brother here. Oh man, this, here we go. Jesus. The tenacity that I have to, ah, the delicacy I have to use with this car. I don't even use this much ah precision when I'm with my fucking fiance. Maybe that's why she said no the first time. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. I'm rather good in that uh, area of our relationship. What the fuck am I talking about, dude? Um, let's just get this car around this Kona. As the Germans say. Or something like that. And let's just get the fuck on out of here. I hate this racetrack. I honestly, this is one of my least favorite racetracks. I just don't like it. Because it's like, the corners aren't really banked. They're just like flat and they're big. And it's, <laughs> it's so annoying. But that's okay. We, uh, we got it. We can go ahead and do our last race. And, um, honestly, fuck it. I'm not going to keep stability control. I'm not going to turn it on. I managed to handle that. I think I can, I think I can do it again. Um, honestly, I might turn the horsepower down a little bit. So it's a little bit easier. Because I think, uh, you know, what is it? 900 horsepower. <laughs> it's just a little too much for those tires. And for this thing's chassis. Um, not a lot of downforce. <laughs> Man, if that's my engine, I like the sound of that. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and go in here. Let's move this down to... I don't know. How much were we at before? 836? Let's turn it down to like six, six seventy six. How's that? That's still more than stock, and we're still lighter. So, yeah. Um, and let's go ahead and decrease our gears, I suppose, because we don't have as much power. So let's focus a little more on acceleration here and go lower top speed. Um, and let's just jump right into it. I've never been on this racetrack. <clears throat> I think it does not look familiar. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what this racetrack is. Sorry, I was distracted by the fact that my game had me on three traction control again. There is actually a Focus STI. That's not even STI, it's just a Focus ST. Just past a Corvette. Ladies and gentlemen. I refuse to believe that. Now, yeah, I know there's probably like some extreme race variant of the the Ford Focus that would utterly smoke a Corvette, but I'm talking a regular ass um, Focus that's still front wheel drive. It's no, don't make sense. I feel like I've seen this track before. Was this track in another game? Um, like, I feel like this is a track from, like, Need for Speed Pro Street, you know? Like, it's that, got that kind of feel to it. Jesus. I know Pro Street used real-life tracks, so I don't know if this is a famous track or what. Because <laughs> Gran Turismo make up a lot of their tracks, so I'm not sure. Man, just getting this thing around here. It's not as bad as it was before. I can actually give it some power on corners like this. But it's still... It's still got a bite to it. More of a bite than that Viper did, that's for sure. What is this ahead of us? I'd really like, um... NASCAR? <laughs> like, that sounds weird, but I... You know, like Forza NASCAR is really fun to play with.
So I'd really like to have some NASCAR. Just so that I can, uh... I can, um... Use them, like, on tracks like this. I think this would be a great game for it. I mean, they added in, like, an F1 slash Indy car. And uh, I drove it earlier, and it's fucking sick. Uh, the feeling you get of the speed in that thing and the downforce is just absurd. I love it. <clears throat> it's just... Things like that, it's like... You don't experience that from, like, regular cars, so it just feels, like, out of this world. Like, literally, like, out of this world. Like, it came from space. Like, <laughs> it's not, like, a... A car at that point. It's like a spaceship on wheels. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of F1 stuff lately. I think it's fascinating. The science and shit behind it. But this is definitely not an F1 car. This is an old Le Mans car. And let me tell you. It feels like it. Dude, come on, though. Come on, though. Come on, though. Do you... Are you guys seeing this? Jesus Christ. Yellow flag. Uh-oh. Someone put themselves into a wall. Oh, shit. He's right there. Oh man, just throttling, controlling this car is a chore and a half. It's so much thinking. Oh shit, what the hell happened? I don't know what just happened. Maybe my back tire scraped the, scraped the, uh, the sand there. Or something, because I don't know what just happened. I, I was in control of that that whole time. I did not expect to slide there, let's just say that. I thought I was taking that pretty nice. Alright. Just one one guy to catch here. As long as we use our little traffic cone clipping points effectively, no matter how much horsepower we have, we should catch up to this guy. And he is really being a real dick about it. Let me just, you know, put that out there. Like I get, like you don't want to lose, but fuck you, dude. I'm about to push you off this fucking cliff, you dumbass. He genuinely fought me there, like... Like that's something like a real player would have done. And then the real player would have also proceeded to drive into a wall. Trust me, I've had experience with people like that before. The way I see it, if you're going faster than me, you deserve to pass me. <clears throat> oh, there we go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, is that it? I think that's it. Um, yeah, that was it for that. Um, I didn't do the first race because I did that one off camera. It was a really boring race anyway. Um, it's basically just an oval. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for, uh, Gran Turismo for today. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more of this. I actually had a lot of fun recording this. Um, so next one, I guess we'll do the Raptor just because that sounds kind of fun. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys later.